What's up, fam? Welcome back to my sewing room. Uh, I am working on uh, a little purse right now, actually. This is a cute little polar bear, and I'm putting it onto this, and then it's got this like very like e-girl inspired chain. Oh, I'm just living for these little buddies this day these days. I'm so excited. Um, last night I wrote another short story, and um it's going to be a book. It's going to be an artist book, actually. So if you're familiar with artist books, they're not uh, your traditional, you know, your traditional book. <laughs> they're an interpretation. Um, so I made this as my artist book. And this is Little Purple Dinosaur. And she, like, has a hard time fitting in. She feels lonely. And, she and like, the other dinosaurs don't accept her. And so she was really sad and down on herself. And then she ran into the forest. And that's where she met Trixie. And Trixie is the little fairy that lives inside of her. And... Then there's little Bee Boop, and that's Trixie's best friend. And they help teach little purple dinosaur how awesome she is and how to be confident. And when she's scared to do things like something like go to school or do a sporting event or something something along those lines, take a big test. Then Trixie comes out, hypes her up, and yes. So I really like that. I'm I'm writing the story. I'm not done with it yet, but then the illustrations, you know, you can listen. Okay, so I'm thinking that I want this to be an audio book, and then you can play, like, hear it on the on your phone and then I put I'm putting a pocket in the back so you can put your phone inside of it and this is a children's book so when the children when the child is listening to the audio book they're looking at this so they can literally like play while the story is going so it's like stimulating their imagination and yeah so I have little purple dinosaur I have little blue dinosaur, he's a T-Rex. And then I have little green dinosaur. And I have a bunch of different buttons that, I don't know where they are right now, but they're pretty much very similar to this. There's fairies, whoa, I just burped, <laughs> excuse me. There's unicorns and there's dragons. And then I can write stories about how all the dinosaurs, like, they're all different. They all have their different stories. But they all have a fairy to help them that lives inside of them. Almost like a demon, if you've ever read the book uh, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, I believe. So that's really what I was working on last night. And then... Today, uh, my mom came over and she helped me clean out the dance studio. It looks so good. I've been, pro I haven't been painting much these days because every single time I go into the dance studio, I'm just like, I can't even with it because it's just so like cluttered and messy and like even though I want to paint when I go in there I'm mentally already checked out I'm like I would much rather come up here and sew or hang out or draw in my living room or somewhere where the environment feels more like peaceful and conducive to creating so anyways, I've been talking about my dance studio for a while. And my mom's like, all right, 
I'm just gonna come over and I'm gonna help you. And we, she came over and she helped me and it looks so beautiful and clean now. And we're gonna hang curtains and we're gonna hang colorful lights and it's going to be amazing. So then when I start teaching yoga, it, it will be the perfect spot. Um, what else is happening? Uh, oh, so in my last video, I talked about setting a morning intention and saying it out loud before you get out of bed. And I've been doing that for the past two or three days. Guys, I cannot tell you the amazing impact that it has had on my life. Honestly, like, I've been setting my intention be like, not, I, cause I want it to be specific. So I say, uh, today is gonna be the best day ever and I'm gonna be healed. I'm going to be filled with healing love and, and I can just go off and I can say anything that I want. Like I want to, um, I want to deepen the quality of my relationships with, with my mom or my friends. You know, I could, you can say anything, you know, I could say anything, <laughs> but like, look at me. I'm so happy. Like this is the third day I've done it and I've, and I've just can't say enough positive things about it. So if you're looking to add something to your life, that's like really easy to do and has a huge positive impact, like set in a morning intention. I've also been doing a breath practice every morning and it's so good. It is literally so good. Like, um, like I know that this good mood isn't going to last forever, but I'm just enjoying it so much these past three days. And I wish I could just like bottle it up and then mail it to you. And then you could just like, go, go, go. and then you can feel all warm and sparkly inside. Well, anything else? Oh, the breath practice I've been doing is uh, Wim Hof, W-I-M space H-O-F. If you're interested, um, I would highly recommend looking him up. He's the real deal, Wim Hof. I've actually met him in real life before and he is like, his energy is next level. Like, he is the real deal. And, oh, anyways, I'm gonna get back to sewing. But I just had to check in because I missed you guys and I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Tag out.